Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to count the amount of characters that are in a cell. Um, also count how many times a certain character will show up in a cell and maybe as a bonus here how to count how many words are in a cell. So let's first start with the first example in this word, agree. So we know that the, if we count it manually here we know agree has five characters in here. The way that we can count the amount of characters is by using the len function. Now what the len function is basically a length function. It's going to count the number of strings, characters in the text string. So basically the len function or len function I guess, that's how hopefully it's pronounced, will just count those characters in there. And that's what it does. It's very basic, very simple formula. Now if I say agree and just put a d here, it's going to put six here. So that's what it basically does. Now what if we wanted to count the amount of characters and not count the spaces. So the formula is basically two functions. So first we have to use the substitute function and then encapsulate that into the, the len function. So what the substitute does here in this example, let me go ahead and just highlight here to, to show it a little bit better. Or actually maybe what I can do is I can just click in there and just press a space bar and what it does is it won't execute the function. It will just show it as text. Let me go ahead and double click this to expand it out. So what the what the substitute function does is it's going to look in this cell, A3, so it's going to look in the contents of that cell, look for a blank, it's, and then it's going to find that blank there, and then substitute a non-blank. So basically it will smush these two words together and make it one word. And what it's going to do is it's after that happens, it's going to count all the characters in that word. So that's what it does. So to see this in action, let's actually go into the formula evaluator. Let me go ahead and backspace that and press enter. I'm going to click in here and go into the formula evaluator. I believe that's under the formula tab and you go under evaluate formula. So once I click on that, you have the evaluate formula window open up and let's go and evaluate it. So let's see what it does first. What it's going to do is going to take, look at this. It's going to, the substitute function is going to work first. It's going to look in that cell and it has not agree. Then it's going to take the substitute the blank, which is that space there, and put in nothing. And basically, just smush those together. And that's what it's doing here. You can see that the space between the not and agree is gone. And then after that, it's going to figure out the length of that, which is eight. So five, six, seven, eight. So that's what it's doing. So that's how you count characters if there's spaces in between. We can actually put another word here in a space, not agree, and then maybe just put a question mark, and it should count nine characters, and it does. So it took away that space there between the E and the question mark, and it figured out nine. So that's how you do the character count. But let's say, how, let's say you have another example here. We want to count the amount of certain characters within a cell. So basically, it's this form. Let me go ahead and click there and press the space bar so it doesn't execute that command. I'm going to double click this to increase the size. So what this form, what it's doing is it's taking the length of this cell and then basically it's saying, okay, that's five characters. Then I'm going to minus off the length and first I'm going to substitute in the cell the, the E's. So I'm going to find any E in there and then I'm going to basically blank it. I'm going to delete it. So this is what Excel is doing. It's deleting these two E's. And after that, we only have three characters. The substitute is encapsulated under another len function. And that len function, once you take out the two E's, there's only three characters left. A, G, R, three. So this five, five characters minus three is two. So what that's figuring out now is there are, when it's five minus three, there's two. Basically the two E's that it took out. And that's how this function works. Let me go ahead and backspace that press enter and you see that it's figured out too. Now if we go back and go into the formula evaluator, you'll see how it works. Basically, it's going to look at agree, bring back five, and press evaluate again. All right, five is here. And looking at A7, it's going to look at the E's. All right, it's going to look at the E's and it's going to substitute blanks or nothing. It's going to basically take away the E's. So all you're left with is AGR and the length of AGR is three. And my five minus three is two. So basically it's counting those two E's that are left out. Let me go ahead and close this. So that's how that works. 
let's say that we want to figure out how many words are in a cell. So this, this particular cell should have four words. The sun is out, four words basically, and we calculate it here. So how does this formula look like? And go ahead and click in there, put a space here, press enter. Let's go ahead and double click this to increase and make it look a little bit better. Now what this is doing is it's involving several functions. The if function, the len function, the trim function, and the substitute function. So the if then state, the if statement is, is basically saying, if the length of trim equals zero, then bring back a zero. So let me go ahead and describe what this does. What trim does for here is it removes any spaces that are outside of the sentence. The ones that are in here are still okay, but what trim does is it trims off the leading leading and trailing spaces. Now once it do does that, that gets put into the len, the len function, which basically says what is the length of this particular uh, cell, of the, the characters in there. And if that equals zero, so basically if this doesn't have any words in it or characters, if it's zero, bring back zero. Otherwise, if it does have words in it, perform this group of functions. So what this group of function does is you can see that the len, trim, and a11 is still there. So what it's going to do is now we're assuming that there's a bunch of characters there. So it's going to look and trim off the leading and trailing spaces. And then what that does is it counts off all the characters here, right? And so it's, it's going to count off the three characters of the, the three character of, characters of sun, the two of is, and three about what's going to happen there is then it's going to subtract the length of a substitute function. So this substitute function, what it does is it's going to look in this cell and look at the amount of spaces between the words and bring back nothing. So there's three spaces between the the and sun, between sun and is, and is and out, right? So three, and why it's adding one? So it can, so you can bring back four spaces. So what it's going to assume now is the length of this thing here, these words, all the characters, minus the length that is subtracted out of those four spaces, the substitute plus the one, is going to give you basically the amount of spaces left. So um, probably showing you how this works with the formula evaluator will, will give you an idea, a better idea than me explaining it. But I kind of wanted to explain it to show you, to tell you what each of the functions does. So let me go ahead and let's see, backspace this, press enter, control enter to stay in that cell. I still have four, so it counts out the four words. So let's go into the formula evaluator to see how that works, right? So what it's gonna do right here, it's gonna look at A11. It can see and bring back the contents of that cell and it's gonna trim out the leading and trailing spaces. And then it's gonna figure out the length of this cell, the characters there, which is going to be I believe that's 15. Okay, so 15 doesn't equal zero, so it's it's not going to give you back that zero. It's going to perform this bunch of functions. So after I click evaluate, it says it's false, so it's not going to be zero. It's going to evaluate here now. So once it evaluates there, you can see now it's going to trim a11. So trim is going to look at the contents of that cell. The sun is out, and then take out the leading and trailing spaces and bring it back into the len function and length function is 15, and now it's gonna look at the substitute function, A11, and it's gonna substitute all the uh, blanks, characters, and bring back nothing and substitute it with nothing. And once it's done that, oops, and once it's done that, you know, they, they're all smushed together right now. So basically, it's going to figure out the length of that. And length that is 12 plus the one, it's gonna add an additional one because basically, between each space, when you really think about it, between each space, the is a word, space, you can think of that as the counter for that word. Sun is one word, there's another space, that's the second one. Is is one word, that's the third space here, and out is one word. And you can think about having another space here to help count that word. So that's what that plus one is doing. So now it's 12 plus one is 13, uh, minus the, uh, minus from 15, is going to give you four, right? And so it's false. The if statement, it's false, is not going to bring that. It's going to bring back four, right? So that's how that particular bunch of functions work.
hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Uh, you can rerun this portion to kind of go through it again. But that is basically how you would count how many words are in the cell. So the character counts are up here. Usually, basically, it's just using the, the len function and substitute function. A little more fancy type of counting is counting how many characters of a specific character show up in the cell is using this. And this one's a little extra how many, by counting up how many words show up in a particular cell using a combination of different functions and an if statement. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.